In this video, I'd like to show completing the square method. Quadratic functions have the standard form of ax square plus bx plus c, where a, b, c are known values. Changing to the form to a bracket x plus h squared plus k, it's called the vertex form, by completing the square. There are three steps. Step 1. Isolate the constant c. Step 2. Make the leading coefficient a equal 1 by dividing the first two terms by a. Step 3. Add and subtract half the coefficient of the middle term squared. Let's take a look at the example a. First, Identify each a, b, and c value. Step 1. Isolate the constant 26. Step 2. This question has a equal 1 already. Step 3. Add half the coefficient of x term squared, and then subtract the same value to keep the original expression. Add minus 1 squared and subtract the same value. Now make the square form for the first bracket group. Take x from the first term and take the negative 1 from the last term. Then simplify the second bracket group 26 minus 1, which is 25. So the vertex form becomes x minus 1 squared plus 25. If you expand the vertex form, you should get the standard form on the left. Let's take a look at the example B. First, identify each A, B, and C value. Step 1. Isolate the constant negative 2. Step 2. This question has A equal 1 already. Step 3. Add half the coefficient of x term squared and then subtract the same value to keep the original expression. Add 3 halves squared and subtract the same value. Now make the square form for the first bracket group. Take x from the first term and take the positive 3 halves from the last term. Then simplify the second bracket group, minus 2 minus 9 fourth, which is negative 17 over 4. So the vertex form becomes x plus 3 half squared minus 17 over 4. If you expand the vertex form, you should get the standard form on the left. Let's take a look at the last example C. As you can see, the leading coefficient is 3 in this case. Step 1. Isolate the constant negative 30. Step 2. Divide the first two terms by 3 to get 3 times x squared minus 8x. Make some space after the second term. Step 3. Add half the coefficient of x term squared and then subtract the same value to keep the original expression. Add minus 4 squared inside the bracket and subtract 3 times minus 4 squared outside. Now make the squared form for the first bracket group. Please keep 3 in front of the bracket. Take x from the first term and take the negative from the last term. Then simplify the second bracket group, minus 30 minus 48, which is negative 78. So the vertex form becomes 3 times x minus 4 squared minus 78. If you expand the vertex form, you should get the standard form on the left. In summary, to change the standard form to the vertex form by completing the square, there are three steps. Step 1. Isolate the constant c. Step 2. 
make the leading coefficient a equal 1 by dividing the first two terms by a. Step 3. Add and subtract half the coefficient of the middle term squared. You need to be careful for a not equal 1 cases. Thank you for watching. See you next time.